This is Rob Cairns, CEO and Chief Creator of Amazing Ideas at StunningDigitalMarketing.com with this week's SDM interview show. Today's guest is Travis Macklem. Travis is a young man who has an interesting niche. He's in the cigar industry. And what he's doing is using YouTube and Instagram to build content to be in that cigar industry. And he's apparently attempting to become a certified tobacconist. So he wants to stay in the cigar industry and he wants to grow his business in the industry. So I'm very excited to bring to you the interview that Travis and I did. And we hope you enjoyed this interview as much as we did doing it for you. Morning, everybody. Uh, Rob Cairns with the SDM Interview Show. I'm here with my good friend, Travis Macklin. Um, we're going to talk a little bit about what he does, the interesting niche he's in, how he works with social media, and kind of where he's going with all that. Hi, Travis. How are you today? I'm doing very great. How about yourself? Uh, doing good. A little chilly in the Great White North today, but it's all <laughs> it's all good, you know. I, I'll take sunny Florida any day, my friend. <laughs> oh, yes. It is beautiful down here, and I wouldn't trade it for anything. <laughs> Would you mind give us a little introduction about uh, who you are, what you do, and uh, just for listeners' sake, Travis and I met in an amazing group run by the wonderful Kim Doyle. Shout out to Kim. Uh, Kim, for those who don't know, was branded as a WordPress chick, and now she's kind of in the content creation and does an amazing job on Facebook. And she's Travis awesome. and I met in that group, no question. And, uh, you know, I've been kind of active in the group more in the last six months, but I've known Kim for a couple of years. So, I mean, she's awesome. Um, and uh, we met in there and, you know, we talked quite a bit. So how about your introduction, yeah. Travis? All right. Well, um, you know, I am Travis Macklem. I am a uh, content creator. Um, I run a YouTube channel called The Better Savage Lounge, where I review cigars and cigar accessories and um, beginning to branch out a little bit more into the cigar world. But that's pretty much my life right now is the cigar industry. Um, I run a Instagram page called The Smoking Savage where I post, you know, cigars, interesting facts about them, try to help people educate a little bit on them. And, you know, I just trying to build my name in the industry and, you know, kind of get more information out to people who are kind of interested in the cigar industry, but not sure what, what all it entails. So how did you get into the cigar industry? That's a really interesting niche to be in. Yeah, well, um, honestly, I'm just like anybody else. I'm a fan. Um, when I was when I turned 18, my brother took me down to his uh, favorite cigar shop in um, Grand Rapids, Michigan, and we he took me in, and this place is just awesome. It was in the worst part of town, and um, you know the outside of the building looked all run down and beat up, but when you walk in, it was like a you know, walk into a doorway to a whole nother world. Like the place was beautiful. It was amazing. And they had the humidor that was just great. And I was sold instantly. I didn't even smoke a cigar yet. And I was like, I knew that's where I was going to want to be. That's, um, really, that's really cool. Actually. Yeah. I loved it. And you know, my brother let me pick out any cigars I wanted. I picked out one that I, oh man, at this, to this day, I cannot remember what it was, but I remember it was a good one. And then, but the one I do remember, unfortunately, was a chocolate flavored cigar, mm. Mm. which was awful. <laughs> so what kind of videos are you producing on YouTube around the cigar industry in terms of education and things like that? Uh, currently, it's, it's mostly reviews. Um, you know, I, I got started a friend of mine who is very big in the cigar industry himself, um, reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to start doing a couple of videos for a small Facebook group. And I said, okay, sure. You know, not thinking much of it. He knew I was interested in cigars and I wanted to learn. And it was kind of his way of, you know, helping me learn by doing. And, you know, it just kind of took off and I loved doing it so much that I, you know, branched out to YouTube and 
you know, BitChute and started posting my videos on there. And, you know, it's just slowly picking up and I'm starting to gain some steam. And I'm hoping in 2019 to branch out, not just doing cigar reviews, but doing, um, you know, other types of things in the cigar industry. Like I want to do interviews with people in the business. I want to go to shops and do like uh, video tours. You know, I, I have all these plans for it and it's just going to, it feels like it started with something so small and simple and it's just kind of snowballing. And it was yeah, a huge thing. It's kind of cool when you when you find something you're really passionate about that you love to do, and then you can kind of take it and build the content around that passion. That goes way better than just creating the content for the sake of saying, "Hey, I'm a content creator." Doesn't absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I love um, doing every second of it. Yeah, what do you when you do your YouTube videos? What type of equipment are you using right now? Um, currently. I'm just using a um, simple, I, I'm using my iPhone and the stand that I actually just bought. Before that, I was kind of setting it up. It's kind of a, you know, simple setup to it. Um, I have a uh, little uh, little bar in the back, in my backyard that I set up, um, you know, get everything all set up and, you know, put my displays out. And it's just a very simple setup. You know, that's one thing that I really like about this is, I mean, yeah, you could do, you know, these great production things, but at the same time, you can do something simple like this and still be semi-successful with it. Yeah, and they've now got, if you anybody jumps on Amazon or, or anything like that, um, the, uh, you know, if you, um, if you jump on, like, Amazon, you can order... Uh, cell phone holders now for a tripod so yeah it makes it real it makes it really easy um, mm -hmm. if you want to pick up to start somewhere at a low entry point like you can buy a holder for 15 bucks a plastic one and and then go from there so yeah, yeah i bought a really nice tripod off of amazon for 30 dollars that i just started using and i love it it's yeah. so simple to use and it's great it's great good quality you know it's really worth it yeah, and, and I think, like, the next step when you're doing stuff like YouTube is maybe to get a good mic and then mm -hmm. audio is as, as important as, as video now and then kind of keep building from there, right? So. Oh, absolutely. And that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to build slowly and, you know, create, you know, get new stuff to help create things. And, you know, the best thing, too, is, like, even when you're recording on, you know, uh, your phone these days, you know, it doesn't matter if you have an Apple or an Android or anything. There's so many good editing apps. There's, you know, camera apps. There, you know, literally the sky's the limit if you want to. It's not like the old days where you had to have the giant cameras set up and the backdrops and all that. You can do everything very easily and actually pretty cheaply. Yeah, there's a um, couple, you know, since we're talking about editing, a couple quick tips is uh, GoPro who's the maker mm -hmm. of uh, the great cameras that they use in like extreme sports kind of where they're known for. They actually took their video app and it's called Quick Q-U-I-K and they released mm -hmm. it for free in the iTunes and the um, Android store. So I they, have Quick. It's they great. Really, quick is cool. Um, the other tip is you're talking about the green screens and stuff. Logitech's got a new camera called the Bria, B-R-I-A. And it's uh, it's a little pricey. It's about two eighty nine Canadian, so at US probably two twenty, two thirty. Mm -hmm. And it has the capability in it to put a green screen behind you as it's filming in part of the software. Isn't that? Oh it? wow! Yeah. So these the point I'm making is these prices have come down for content creators. You know, by the day, the things like smartphones have kind of changed all that. We used to carry, mm -hmm. you know, back in the day, you would carry a point and shoot camera video camera a, uh, a cell phone and believe it or not for those who remember we carry a pda a personal uh, device around you know and had now, a PDA uh, back in the day yes uh, and now they're all, now it's all on your phone and you know mm -hmm. and i don't think you can go wrong with any of the new big phones whether it's lg um iphone uh samsung um no, not at all. And people have their preferences and some people fight you to the death on them. But at the end of the day, if you have whatever you, if you can figure it out and make it work for you, that's really all that matters. Yeah. 
and 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 I and I and I and I agree and I agree 100% with you and it's getting to know your tools I mean I'm a Windows Android guy but um, I have to tell you I don't believe in these coke and Pepsi fights as I call them with people um, <laughs> you know they they can um, they'll drive you insane as I call it so, oh yeah and you don't I I'm a big believer with my clients and my people and 18 years in tech before is get the tool that works for you, learn it well, and then you're good to go, right? And that's kind exactly. of kind of the way it is. And um, really, too, if you think about it, they're all ripping each other off so much with yeah. all their technology. They're all about the same anymore. Yeah, yeah. Which iPhone you using, Travis? Just for curiosity. Um, right now I have the seven. Okay. So I'm a little upgrade. bit behind, but it works. Yeah, I I went to a uh, G7 ThinQ in July, which is the LG, their latest phone, and they've now got a new one out. And this phone's kind of cool because it actually has a wide-angle lens on it as well. Oh, wow. And uh, and it's, I mean, for me, it's it's a phone. It only comes with the 64 gig base, and you know, I, I have some requirements on a phone, but you know, as I say, get to know your tool, use it well. Um, I would suggest anybody that's doing video, don't spend the time buying a video camera. If you want something more high end, go get a good point and shoot camera with a good lens, mm -hmm. uh, a Nikon, a Canon, or even a Sony, believe it or not. The pros sure. are all starting to use Sonys and get one of those with a good lens. Don't waste your time um, spending uh, oodles of dollars on, on a video camera. I wouldn't do that in this day and age. I don't think it's worth it. Not at all. No, not at all. Um, I know we're talking video, and if you want uh, some good tips, um, Travis and I were talking off land by a mutual colleague who's in the content creators group by name of Ross Brand. Follow Ross. Um, mm -hmm. The other tip I'll throw out to a good friend of mine who's a, a bit of a journalist. Uh, her name is known as Amber Mac, Amber MacArthur in Canada. Amber and her husband, uh, Chris Dick, do a lot of video production. Uh, follow them and look at some of the stuff they're doing. Um, Amber's doing a lot of Facebook Lives and things like that. And uh, it's well worth looking into. Very cool. um, in terms of social media platforms, are you posting live or are you using any automation tools to do your posting? Um, pretty much posting live. I've used some automation tools and I like them. I just, my only problem is the one that I was using, which was, oh, now I can't remember the name of it because I stopped using it a little bit while back because um, my only problem was I couldn't figure out how to use the hashtags on there. And I know hashtags are a very important part of posting when you're trying to create content and, um, you know, direct traffic. And I just had such a hard time getting the hashtags to work when you're auto posting. So I've just gotten to the point where I'll, I'll just post, you know, live now. Um, I try to do it a couple of times a day yep. and honestly, I don't mind doing it. I usually find that I have the time when I want to do it. Yep. So it doesn't get in my way really. It's not something I have to go, Oh, I have to go post. Otherwise, you know, it's something I can definitely easily get to. Yeah. And the lives seem to draw traffic to what you're doing. I mean, Facebook puts a higher uh, emphasis on Facebook lives. We know that from mm -hmm. metrics and numbers. And I can tell you, I've been doing, I don't know, Facebook lives. I do one a day, every business day, sometime when I have, excuse me, when I have time. And I'll do, and I don't schedule mine. I haven't yet. And I'm not using any third-party software yet. Mm -hmm. And my traffic to my website's gone up by probably 200% in the last two months of small business oh, wow. people. So they do have some value. And then there's all kinds of tools you can use, like OBS, which is free. You can use um, a tool I'm looking at playing with, a good friend of mine uses, it's called VM Mix. And there's several other tools that will kind of push out to YouTube and Facebook at the same time. So there's some ways to do stuff like that. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, how is your traction with Instagram going uh, with cigars? Uh, very good. Uh, I'm actually, you know, picking up people 
left and right, I get a lot of interaction. I get a lot of likes on my posts. You know, it's it's just a matter of, you know, putting in the right hashtags that people are going to pick up on. And, you know, it, it's simple when you start picking out, um, you know, who's using what. What what I like to do is I go through another pa- other pages and, you know, I'll look at hashtags that others are using, you know, popular ones. And I'll just, you know, I'll kind of pick up on what's doing really well and what's not. And I'm also, you know, looking at other pages and just checking out their content and um, not stealing it, but obviously, but, you know, kind of looking and seeing, okay, well, they're doing this, this kind of works. I've seen this on other pages, you know, they're doing this, these kinds of angles, these kinds of lightings, you know, these captions, you know, stuff and it all kind of, you know, they're all very, very similar to each other to a point where you can get a pattern going as to what's popular and what doesn't pick up as much. So that's what I've been really working on doing is just building traffic through that and trying to build my own algorithm, if you will, as to what, you know, will pick up the most traffic. And honestly, it's been doing really well. I think it's been really connecting and I really like it. What I would suggest is on Instagram, video seems to work really well as well. Mm -hmm. People think it's just video. uh, It's just pictures. I have a client who's a jewelry store. And he has a part-timer that works for him that is, like, absolutely awesome at Instagram. And uh, she was hired for that reason. We actually hired her for uh, for her social media. And she produces videos that are, like, just unreal. And, oh, yeah. And they get traction out there. The other thing that many people don't know that Instagram announced this week is you, if you have a business page on Instagram, you can now schedule videos, believe it or not. So mm-hmm. gone. I was seeing that, and so I, I think that's so cool. Yeah, it is. I, th- but you got to be careful with scheduling too, because you know you don't want to oversaturate. But and you also got to be really careful uh, for anybody out there listening of what's going on in the world. Because I've had clients who have made the mistake of not pulling scheduled posts and they contradict with what's going on regionally or nationally at the time. Oh yeah. And then, and then you're in the damage control mode for weeks at a time. <laughs> that's not pretty. It, it happens horribly. And I, that's another reason why I don't, you know, I don't lean so much towards uh, scheduling posts. Cause I know that I'm going to run into that issue and it's just kind of, I can react a lot quicker if I, you know, I'm doing them live and you know, it's just, because, like you said, there are so many things, especially in the cigar world right now. Yeah. Um, the FDA is just fighting this horrible battle on the cigar industry. And we, it's one of those things you don't know what's going to happen day to day at this point. Like, it could, you know, I could wake up tomorrow and the FDA is going to propose that they ban all types of cigars. Yeah, and, they are. You, know, it's you, just, you don't know. You don't know. And and the problem too in the U.S. right now is the political situation, as we all know, mm-hmm. is un, without getting into it, and the merits of it is unstable at the best of times. So you know you kind of you don't know where things are going to turn, and and you don't know oh, how well. they're going to turn these days. I mean, you know, I, uh, I used to be very very involved in politics, and I used to pay attention to it. Um, I actually at one point I considered running for mayor of my hometown, but you know, I got to that point where I started, you know, my kind of opened my eyes to everything and went, you know, man, politics is just, that's not fun. It's a nightmare. You know, you have to deal with a bunch of stuff that you don't want to deal with in order to get to the stuff that you do want to deal with. And, you know, it's just one of those things. And especially nowadays, like you're saying, like the political landscape is so hostile. Like you don't know what, what's going to happen one day or the next. It's, it's true. It's actually pitted friends and families against each other. It's just, sure. you know, so my rule, my rule of thumb on social media is I ignore every political post in my feed. I <laughs> don't want anywhere near it. Um, part of the reason is I actually do some marketing work with some of the political writing. So I don't even want to mm-hmm. get in the middle of it. And I just, mm-hmm. and I just, I don't need the negative energy. I think, you know, social media, there's so much negative stuff out there. You can choose to be part of the negative stuff or you can be 
choose not to be part of the negative stuff. And that's kind of your choice that, at the end of the day, right? Absolutely agreed. And, you know, like I said, the only politics I get involved in are, are the cigar industry and the FDA battle right now. That's the only thing I really keep up with. Um, you know, and, you know, some people go, oh, you know, this stuff's important. You got to look into it. But at the same time, it's like, I could sit there and watch, you know, the news channels 24 seven. I'll just drive myself insane. Yeah. You know, there's some stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I just can't do it. Yeah. I, I agree. I mean, my rule of thumb with the news now is I watch 10 minutes in the morning. I watch 10 minutes at night to find out what happened locally. I don't even mm-hmm. care about the national stuff anymore because at the end of the day, they're going to do it whether you like it or not. And does it impact me directly? That's kind of my philosophy these days. Exactly. Not that I'm not aware and not that I don't go out to vote because you don't, by the way, if you don't go vote, you don't have a right to complain. So, mm-hmm. you know, I, I do all that. I'm quite aware of what's going on, but then I just kind of, kind of look at stuff and I say, you know, there's more pressing things to do, if you know what Agreed. I mean. So what would you suggest to anybody since you've kind of started to build your social media from scratch? Um, mm-hmm. If they were going to do it, how should they do it and where should they start? Um make friends <laughs> that is one of the biggest things i can tell you is you know i've joined so many groups and you know learning meet, met so many people and just whatever your niche is like you know for the cigar industry for example you know i'm committing 2019 to going to events i've got a couple lined up already you know i'm just going to go there i'm going to meet people but i've already met a bunch of people online i've joined groups you know, and those are going to help you build traffic because word of mouth, no matter what day and age, no matter what time we're at, nothing will be a better marketing tool than word of mouth. And I Comes back to relationships. Yep. Yeah. It's all, it's all you tell about. Tell somebody to check this out. That's what they're going to do. Yeah. It's all about relationships and, and, and take those friends. I would go one more step and eat and get those friends to almost be fans, right? I mean, Mm -hmm. you know, Tony Robbins once said, it's better to have 10 raving fans than 100 friends. And to some degree, that's true. I mean, all you have to do is go look at Apple and how how their launches go. And every time Apple does launch, there are people out the door at every Apple store. And it's... Mm -hmm. So I would... That's how it is. I would agree with that. Um... And beyond that, where do you plan on going in the industry besides doing YouTube and the, and the social media? Well, um, I'm actually uh, getting ready to um, get my first certification in the industry, which is a um, tobacconist license. Um, you know, you just take a, I got to take a class for it and, you know, learn the ins and outs. From there, I'm hoping to get a job either with a shop that, you know, a tobacco shop or with one of the big name companies. And, you know, my end goal is to become a representative. So I would go around and go to events and um, meet people, talk about my product, you know, build brand recognition, you know, just stuff like that. And that's honestly what my main goal is for it. And, you know, there's so many great companies out there right now to work for, so many big names that you can, you know, get into. And so I really want to work with that and then perhaps maybe even build my own from the ground up with somebody. Yeah. It so sounds like a, a challenging and an interesting uh, way of doing it too. Mm-hmm. So if somebody wants to get a hold of you, how is the best way? Uh, it, the besides best way. hitting you over the head. <laughs> <laughs> right. I mean, if you see me on the street and just slap me upside the head and say, Hey, I know who you are. By all means, do that. <laughs> and I don't mind. Um, no, the best ways to get a hold of me are my Instagram, which is uh, the smoking savage. It's uh, the underscore smoking underscore savage. And um, I'm on there. That's one, like I said, that's my probably my main um, account that I go to. I do a lot of interactions off of that. And I've, you know, that's kind of one of my main things. Um, you know, Twitter, it's the smoking savage. I'm on there and you know, I'm, I'm building up my own Facebook page. I haven't gotten that far yet on that one. I'm just on my main one right now. Um, kind of learning and 
trying to figure out the best way to start, you know, the Facebook page and the website. So honestly, Instagram is probably the number one to check me out on right now. Um, and that's where you can find the links to my, all my YouTube videos. Um, my YouTube show is actually called the, at the, or, ugh, excuse me. Um, the better savage lounge on YouTube. And I post videos weekly. I'm, uh, I've collaborated with uh, another great content creator named Angelica Lynch. We're going to work on some stuff where we're actually working on a separate show that um, it's in the works right now. We're hoping to get that off the ground, but uh, for now we're just kind of, you know, I'm doing my show and uh, it's like I said, weekly episodes, check them out. And they're so much fun. Thanks Travis. And thanks for joining me and thanks for your time today and have a, well, thank you for having day. me on. You as well. Thank you so much. That's a wrap. Thank you for joining us for this week's SDM interview show. We hope you enjoyed the show as much as we did doing it for you. The SDM interview show is a production of stunningdigitalmarketing.com, the agency that can help you with your digital marketing needs. For more information, please share our website at stunningdigitalmarketing.com or email us at hello at stunningdigitalmarketing.com. You can also call or text us at 416-624-7647. Also, check out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash stunningdigitalmarketing, where we post daily Facebook Lives during the week to help you with your digital marketing and business needs. Also, check out our CEO's Twitter feed, at Rob Cairns, spelled C-A-I-R-N-S. Until next Thursday, please have a great week. And this show is dedicated to my late father, Bruce Cairns. And uh, miss you, Dad. And as Casey Kasem says, keep reaching for the stars. And you'll know where life is. Have a great day, everybody. Bye for now.